What's up guys, it's James Wydale here with uh, another tutorial on how to get 4K resolution on Sony Vegas. So what you want to do is get your clip and put it on your timeline, have it all edited and ready to render. Uh, after you're ready to render, select your select the bit of the video you want to render. So if it's the whole video, select the whole video. So click along the top here and drag all the way to the end. Selecting the whole video and that means it will render all this bit. So after you're ready to render, go to render as, then go to main concept AVC slash AAC. Then you can click on any of these. Uh, I'm just going to click on Internet HD 1080p at the moment. Click customize template. Then go to frame size and custom frame rate. I mean, not frame rate, sorry, custom frame size. Then the 4K resolution is. 3200 in the width and then the height is 1800 and this will uh, so when you upload this to YouTube it will show as 180p or not 1800p uh, it's basically 4k resolution um, and uh, yeah so then you want to choose your frame rate so you choose whatever your source is so my source in the background is 29.97 frames per second because that's what it records with. So I'm going to put my frame rate in the render as exactly the same as my recording frame rate. So put it as that. Uh, number of reference frames, I put four reference frames. Um, and then I, I tick this box, use the blocking filter. Uh, it just seems to help with the uh, help with the render a lot and help with the quality. So I always have that as that. Uh, variable bit rate. I put the maximum as 50 million, and then the average as 35 million. So I'm actually going to type 35 million out because there isn't an option for 35 million. Um, the reason why the bit rate is so high is because uh, on a 4K resolution, you want to keep as much quality as possible. So uh, if you wanted to, you could even put this. You could, you could even put the bit rate higher, so you could put the maximum bit rate to 80 million if you wanted to, and then the average to 50 million. But uh, this will increase file size, it will also increase render times, but it will, like the output quality will be a lot better on YouTube. Uh, number of slices, I put that to one. Uh, encode modes, you can either use GPU only, or if you have a graphics card available, you can use any of these. But I'm going to use my CPU. Audio, you can just put that to whatever you want. System, you can check if you have a graphics card by going check GPU. And it says that CUDA is available. So that is my NVIDIA graphics card. So I can render with CUDA right here if I wanted to just render with my graphics card. But rendering with graphics card is a lot faster. So if you have a really good GPU, I suggest rendering with a GPU. But I'm just going to use my CPU. Uh, then the last thing you want to do is go to project, then go to video rendering quality and put it to best. Then leave these two on the default ones, and then press OK. Then go to browse and save the folder wherever you want to save the folder. I'm just going to save it in my videos and I'm going to call it 4K test. Hit save and press render. And if you've done it right, it will say in the project. 3200 times 1800 and it will say how many frames you're rendering at and I'm running at 29.97 frames and yeah so if this video helps you guys in any way uh, please hit the subscribe button and check out my other tutorials leave a comment uh, for more tutorials which you guys want and uh, I'll see you guys later